How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch Naruto Shippuden episode 246. Last episode, Naruto used Odama Rasengan on the Nine-Tailed Fox. It's a matter of life and death right now. Naruto has to take control of the Nine-Tailed Fox chakra or the Nine-Tailed Fox is going to take over him and they'll have to find a new Jinchuriki. Come chat about anime on our Discord and if you're interested in live reactions, make sure to follow us on Twitch. Both will be linked in the description below. If you like our full uncut reaction to this Naruto Shippuden episode and get a few weeks ahead of the YouTube videos, make sure to check out our Patreon. The link is also down in the description below. Now on to the anime. Ikimashou! Game over! Oh my god, what the hell? What? I don't expect nothing that. To him. I underestimated the nine tail fox. <laughs> no way! How did he pick him up? What? Oh! It's over! Oh my god! It was huge. Why does everything look bigger? <laughs> He's pulling it out. Is it actually gonna work? Pull, pull, pull! Oh my god. Oh no, it's too strong. I think you uh, weaken him more. This is the first time they showed Nine Tail Fox like this. Oh my god. Is he doing that on purpose? He's letting him. I don't think he can handle it. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, are those the past people? Or the, the passion turkey that failed? Oh, or? it's taking him! Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, he's losing stage mode! No way! Oh my god, he's becoming the true self! Oh, he's turning! What the hell's going on? What? Yo, it's the mom! What the hell? Naruto? <laughs> his first beating, his first ass whooping. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs> Man, that was beautiful. Nani, 
What? What the? Is she <laughs> doing that? Yeah. It was wow. her chakra. <laughs> he has her eyes. He has her eyes. ビジョンの工場に乗ろう。俺とはビドンシって言ってたよ。それに母ちゃんの髪だって綺麗な赤でストレートだし。そっちも痛かったってね。わお。あのさ、これ絶対に母ちゃんに会ったら聞こうと思
Oh, no, no, no. My, oh god. my god. Ow. Well, fucking sack him, man. Hell <laughs> yeah, let's go! Yo, I think it's the kid's turn next. <laughs> Yo, fucking take his head down, man. Yeah, he's Got not Shinobi no more, man. by a kid. <laughs> Dude, what? what the fuck? What are they even on about? Dude, these kids are messed up, yeah. Her home? Yo, was she rich? How did Naruto not inherit this? I don't think there's any family left. I mean, this whole house should have went to Naruto then, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I have, Naruto I have no idea. Or... Oh, they're being attacked. What the frick? They had so much beef with the leaf. Yeah. Her and then also with the Hyuga clan as well. Right? Mm hmm Oh I know that was um the Mist Village. Hell yeah! <gasps> she took them out! <laughs> Shit, dude! <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even notice yet. He was that quick even as a kid. Yo, she doesn't even know. She, she gave already up. lost hope, no. This is so cute. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, the Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh,君を失いたくなかった。よそ者でも <laughs> Yo, this is so cute. How old are they here? Minato is like literally such a gentleman. What the heck? The way he speaks to her. <laughs> Naruto's enjoying it so much.
木の葉の黄色い線香と赤い血潮のハバネロが合わさったら<笑>木の葉のオレンジおかげだってばよそれかっこいいってばね<笑>おかげあなたの夢はミナトと私の夢の続きだなんてああ母ちゃんと父ちゃんの夢は終わらせねえナルトけどその前に。Oh my, my lord,、god. that was. Oh my god,、no. their relationship is like as cute as fucking Hinata and Naruto. What the hell?、Wow. But for them, they like always acknowledged each other、yeah. from the beginning. Wow, what the heck? That was. That was, that was so, so cute. cute. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Minato, man. I love、Damn. how he talks to Kushina. He's just. Like his voice. He's so soft、mm -hmm. with her. Oh my god. This, was, this was the story that freaking Naruto was waiting for, yo. Like, that was, that was、so、such、cute. a perfect story. I shipped them so much. That was so freaking cute. And, and they were so young. Yeah.、Um, I think probably they're getting. Like, like all this. Oh my lord. The way Minato was talking to her, like the phrases he was saying to her, I was like, damn, like, is this really like a 12 year old right now? Or how old are they? Genin? I, I don't know. I think, I think they're Genin. I don't know. They look like they were Genin when、um, Naruto's age, right? When、yeah. he was smaller? Unless Minato was like a prodigy or something. He could be treating already or, or Droni. I don't know. Yeah, but they looked like they were at that 12 year old. Yeah, they're really age, young.、Right? They're really young, though. Oh my god, that was so darn cute. Yeah. My heart was like gonna explode. That was very wholesome. Because <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be really typical the way she started the story. Like, oh, she was getting bullied. Minato comes, saves her, and then he and loves her. That was it. Yeah, that's it, right? She loves him after But that. But no, it wasn't like But that. But it wasn't like that. And I love how he, she was a strong female character. Yeah. And that he acknowledged that.、Mm -hmm. and, and the way he was like. Oh, your hair. I recognized your hair right away because it's so beautiful. Oh my god, that was so cute in my heart. <laughs> As if, oh my gosh, that was, that was too wholesome and cute. I loved it so much. I'm so glad that they put that there. We would have never known about that. I, I wasn't even expecting them to kind of tell us how their parents met. Yeah,、um, thanks to Naruto. I thought they were just going to talk. I didn't think they were going to get how they met, that kind of thing. Yeah, I thought、um, she was going to just give him like, motivation or something,、tips. like tell him you can do it or whatever. Kind of how kind of...、Uh, Minato did it?、Mm -hmm. But, wow, we're actually getting to know them. That's so cute. Because they're already dead, right? So then we、yeah. keep thinking that we're not really going to get to know them that much.、Mm -hmm. But, man. And their character is so much like Naruto. Like, Naruto just takes their character, which is just so amazing to see. And, and he doesn't know until now. He doesn't know until now. Isn't that crazy? Now, yeah. Dude, when、uh, Naruto was、uh, like, crying and happy to see when he hugged his mom,、yeah. man, that was emotional there. Dude, that almost got me. That almost got me right there, man. <gasps> Anyway, he, his whole time, he wants to see his mom, right? And this is the chance he finally got, got it. He didn't even. Say anything. That's how strong his emotions were at, at the time. That moment. He knew at the time. He knew. He, he just, didn't even let her finish. Yeah, he just acted.、Mm -hmm. Like, that's what he's always been wanting. Like, just he realized already. Because, like, just imagine all these years, like, he doesn't know anything about his parents, never、mm -hmm. got the love or just embraced them, right? Yeah. And he finally just gets to hug her. Like,、mm -hmm. wow. That was so beautiful. And the way they instantly clicked and were able to talk about just everything together. Yeah. I loved that. That was so cute. Naruto was、uh, enjoying it so much. He was just like fiddling around.、Um, But he was generally just having such a good time、mm -hmm. talking to his mom and he was so happy. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah, it makes me think what happened if they were around. You know what I mean? I know. Man, that's so sad. It's so sad. Honestly, if it wasn't for her, I think Naruto would have died. Because she did that chain thing after.、Mm, she definitely brought、yeah. him back.、Uh, he was turning. The thought that they could have been a happy family.、Mm -hmm, wow. That's very sad. 
But right. I guess if that happened, we wouldn't have the show Naruto. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Man, what is up with the villagers? Okay, can we talk about that Genin kid? Like, he did he get suspended after that? Because why he would he has get suspended? To, he has to get his like shinobi rights revoked. I don't think that's how it works. Okay, it just it's kind of like police. If they re- abuse their power, they're gonna get their position revoked, but right? But they're not police, the shinobi. They're protecting, they're supposed to be protecting the village and following the Hokage rule. I Can don't think do that? throwing kunais at little girls is considered village okay, fine. orders. Fine, he must have broke some kind of law. He definitely he broke, broke some, kind of law. some kind of law, some kind He's, of rule. They're probably, they're in the village, and then he just whips out, like, weapons. Exactly, and um, she is a training shinobi. Yeah, basically a kid. Um, so she's at the academy, correct? Yeah. yeah. So she, he's basically attacking people that are trying to become shinobi. He's like attacking colleagues, basically. Mm-hmm. Like she's not at the getting level yet, yeah. but she's not officially a shinobi yet. But she's training, right? So mm-hmm. him doing that, it's like you're attack, attacking your future colleagues. Nah, Dude, I don't the, know that. the students just just blew my mind how they acted. Um, like really, did their parents so not teach them anything? Obviously. Am I right? Yeah. Like, they, all of them were just like bullying her. Yeah, I was annoyed at that kid, especially the younger brother because he was the one that started the fight, and then he realized <laughs> that Kushina is actually stronger than him, and he couldn't take it and anymore. He had to go tell. And had to go tell his brother. And even his brother couldn't do shit Dude, against his her. His brother then. is like the same type of person as him. Exactly. Um, yeah. And he was like talking crap when I'm like, he's like, oh, you were just a kid. I'm like, yeah, you're picking on a kid. That just makes you a worse person. Like, what are you the, trying the to The way accomplish? he was trying to make it like, you're a kid, so you didn't know, substi- you didn't see the substitution. Well, your brother probably didn't see it either. Right? He's literally making fun of him too. Exactly. Like, I don't know what the hell he's I don't trying even to go know at. what they're trying to go at. And um, that was just freaking annoying. Yeah, they were just being stupid. He, that kid better have gotten suspended, at least. Okay, I'm just saying. She, he he threw that kunai. She said, wow, it's a real kunai. Like, that means intent to kill. Mm-hmm. All right? What, what do you use a kunai for? You're obviously not using kunai for tag or something right, like you're that. Right. You're obviously using the kunai for the, with the intention to hurt the person. Technically speaking, he should have committed a crime there. He definitely Attempt did. a murder he right there. They need to did. trial him and lock him up. I hope they did. <laughs> I mean, we're probably not going to get this. It's just me needing to know for my own satisfaction. Because fuck that kid. Yeah. It's always the villagers. Whenever we see the villagers or the students be jerks, we're just like, what the yeah. frick is wrong with these people? Oh my god, it was just so cute seeing them because Minato and Kushina is like the opposite of Hinata and Naruto. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, Minato here is kind of always the one just on the sidelines watching mm-hmm. Kushina. Whereas in um for Naruto and Hinata, it was like Hinata's always in the sidelines mm-hmm. watching Naruto. It's because Naruto took over the mom's personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in both cases they were able to change because of um the the guy. Oh yeah yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So in for Hinata it was like um Naruto inspired her to change herself mm-hmm. and then for Kushina it was Minato Acknowledging made, her. Yeah, acknowledging her made her love her hair. Mm-hmm. So cute. Man, I kind of wish that Kushina was the Hokage, to be honest. Be I would have cool. really loved to see that. Because all the other Hokages have been guys, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the fact that she said, like, I'm going to be the first female Hokage, I would have really loved to see mm-hmm. her as the Hokage. But yeah. Minato is super awesome as well. Oh my gosh. I. Like, I don't know why. So far, we haven't really seen them that much. So I didn't really know, like, their personalities much. But, like, this episode made me really, really like them. Like, just with this one episode, like, their small interaction mm-hmm. during this, like, love story. Yeah. I don't know. I really like them. Like, me, I really like Minato. Yeah, like, a lot. A yeah. lot. I don't know why. I think it's just, like, how he talks and how he's, like, really calm and stuff. He doesn't do anything rash. Mm-hmm, exactly like the part where he's like laughing that's very funny and then she like calls him out and then he like looks away that was dude that was it's, so cute it's like he was shocked he's like oh shit um yeah it's really cute so adorable oh my god and then he looks back that's funny Okay, can we talk about this first like kushina seems like she's freaking loaded yo so what the is uzamakis this, are actually rich 
The Uzumaki's the are The Uzumaki, yeah. Exactly. Who inherited this place? I don't know. Who inherited this place? Did the village just, like, village finesse it. this from them? The village took it. They were like, no, no one even knows that the deed belongs to Naruto. So they're like, okay, we're just going to take it. Yeah, no one knows that Naruto is uh, Krishna's um, son. So I guess we'll just confiscate it now. It's and no one's going to tell him. That's the thing. No one's going to tell him. Yeah, they just took it. They're they like, oh, leaf, leaf, leaf Village property now. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's probably what happened to the Uchiha clan's real estate, right? Like this whole time, did Sasuke actually go back? During the academy, did he actually go back to the place where his family died and lived there? No, I don't think so. Right? That would, be, that would be kind of messed up, right? Yeah. They never really showed him his housing. Mm-hmm. But, but, but I think that would be messed up. Maybe it's like they set the property aside so that once they're older, they give it back to them. I don't know. Because, I mean, it would be kind of sad if like, a child was living here by themselves, right? Naruto's living in an apartment eating spoiled milk. Okay, yeah, you're right. And noodles. Because how I would see it is like, like if I was the Hokage, <laughs> how Hokage. I would do it is like I'd have um, financial housing and then like, Naruto and Sasuke or whatever could go live in there temporarily yeah, yeah. while while having fun so like they could provide them with like oh, yeah. sufficient food and such need some while, counselors too yeah exactly while they're living there and then once they're like old enough and legal age because like you'd I'd assume you'd have to be a specific age to kind of own property kind of have like real life works okay okay I mean, I'm just using like real life uh-huh. logic in this, but sure. yeah, like you'd have to be, I, I'm assuming like at least 18, 19 or whatever mm-hmm. to legal adult age to um own to the own the property officially, right? So then, they'd uh, have to live in like the financial housing huh. first and then once um, they're legal aged and they could be given that um, title for that property like legally, but... But mm. at the same time, you're right, Naruto was literally just eating like expired milk and cup ramen at that instant like that housing so that i don't apartment. know if what they were providing there yeah i don't know what were they providing naruto this could be his home later I think on so. that would be so cute if it was like afterwards when he has like his family like what if in boruto he lives here that would be so cute <laughs> that would be so cute okay i don't know maybe if, if, if that doesn't happen i'm gonna really be like what, what happened to the property yeah um, Yo, the Leaf Village has some explaining to do, man. They confiscated the whole Chiha clan property. Now the Uzumakis as well. Like, they need to explain. Like, what happened to all these properties? Like, did, did the pain destroy it? Because they kept calling her outside house. It didn't seem like it was actually in the village. The property. It's the suburbs. Wait, so is it not part of the village? I have no why idea. did they keep yeah, actually why did they even keep calling her an outsider? I think it's I thought of her it was hair. just because of her hair. It's her hair. I think maybe she moved there or something, I don't know. She immigrated into the leaf village. Let's see. Is when she was uh just introducing herself. Oh yeah, it was the first day I came to the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, so she wasn't from the Hidden Leaf Village before. Maybe she wasn't she was just living in one of the places outside. Oh, outside the village? Yeah. But just in the land of fire? That, yeah, that would probably yeah, make sense. Exactly. yeah. Like just in the land of fire, mm-hmm. but not part of the leaf village itself. I could see that. Now that we think about it. That's why maybe you can go, her. yeah, maybe you can go to the village if you live in the, the land. Mm-hmm. So in that case, then her, does her house even. It's it outside the village even? somewhere. Is her house right? outside of the village? Though? I would believe so. But if she's coming to the leaf village now, wouldn't that mean that she would move into the leaf village? That's why I'm like, how does that work? Because then that means if she's going to school here, she had to commute here every day. Like, that's such a long commute, right? Mm. Oh my god. He's so cool. Minato is <laughs> so cool. Yeah, he is very cool. Oh my god. Doesn't he say it? Outside like, why do people think Sasuke is cool? Minato That's is cool. This is definition of cool. of cool. A man that respects a woman, alright? <laughs> so he did everything right. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so cool. I love him so much. Man, this part of all we're gonna get from them, though. Because we're not gonna hear any more stories from them. Just the huh. way he's talking her, or I guess maybe it's because he's into her, so that's why he's speaking with to her that way. But I was just saying, like, the way he talks, if he talked to, like, the other girls like that, man, how could they not fall for this, man? Yeah, he's saying that you live in the Hidden Leaf Village. So doesn't that, what does that mean? Uh, yeah. The Uzumaki Estate 
would be in the village. Oh yeah, you're right. So that they, that, that didn't even look like it was in a part of the village. Mm-hmm. That looked like a clan castle or a clan building or something. Look at that. Where, that, where is this in the leaf village? This can't be in the leaf village. Is it in the leaf village? Like, where are those mountain looking things? Those are in the leaf village? I have no idea. I don't know. Those Everything aren't in the leaf. This is not in the leaf village. Why could you say she lived in the leaf village? They have a lot of questions to answer. Like, Maybe the leaf village expanded or something. Like, they were expanding outwards. I don't know. Would that be. Don't they have a wall? Be? Do they have a wall? Yeah, you're right. They do have a wall. <laughs> You're right. I don't know how they were to expand now. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how this is part of the leaf village. There's clearly like some kind of mountain I'm behind a, yeah. her estate. So I don't remember seeing mountains within the leaf village. Like, I don't believe she's renting this place out at all either. It's too nice, yeah. I think. I, I, feel like, I feel like the Uzumakis would own this. Mm-hmm. We're not even going to get to know the grandpa and the grandma. <laughs> Man. No, I don't think they can show too many characters. Yeah, so what? Where's Where's Naruto's house? Right? Shouldn't he get it? I think yeah, Naruto. I don't know. It's kind of confusing because this. You, you, now that you've pointed it out, like this doesn't really look like it's part of the leaf village. Like it's not inside a leaf village. I don't think. Yeah. It doesn't look like it at least. Because we were thinking it was just in the land of fire, like maybe just yeah. a few kilometers outside. But Minato says to her, "She, she lives in the leaf village." And she's a shinobi now, so that doesn't make any sense. If she's that far away, right? She's leaving the village every time just to go home. I think Naruto needs to hire a lawyer <laughs> to get his house back. Man. Maybe it's how I told you. He can't officially take the property until he's like a legal age. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait until he's legal age. Wait, we'll, wait, we'll wait till property. Boruto first before we can bring up the lawyers. Okay, I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember this, guys. Later on. If he does not live in this house or they talk anything about this house, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Leaf Village pay up, alright? <laughs> For Sasuke too, we are, he better be living in that Uchiha estate as well. Yeah, that's what I mean, what the hell? I feel <laughs> like it has to be within the Leaf Village though, because Minato was there, like, why would he venture out of the Leaf Village? He himself is within the Leaf Village. Hmm. So maybe it's just, maybe this was just back when they didn't, it wasn't fully developed yet. That's the only conclusion I can come up with, is that this was part of the Leaf Village, but they just weren't finished building everything mm. yet, or something like that. I was trying to see um, what she was, uh, who she was trying to talk to, because she just said she's home, right? And then she says, "Is anyone home?" I was waiting for her to be like, "Mom, Dad, or Grandma, Grandpa," because it seemed I'm assuming if she's getting kidnapped, they probably killed the people in the house, mm-hmm. right? What do you think? Yeah, I think so, but they didn't show anything. They didn't show so it. We don't know. Um, another po- actually another possibility I can think of is like she's not from the Leaf Village, but then now she's going to the Leaf Village to live there, to go to school, to train to sh- train um to be a shinobi, and then this house is just like her actual house where her family's living. That's like outside, oh, outside. of the Leaf Village, and then she- they never showed us where she actually lived, and she's just visiting. And she's just visiting because like, that's after. why she's saying, "Is anyone home?" Yeah, like because she's coming back, as in like okay. she's coming back to visit. Hmm. temporarily maybe like on the school vacation or something like that okay yeah we just there we go maybe that's another possibility uh-huh. of what could so it's not it's not the hidden leaf pay up it's the feudal lords pay the up feudal lords pay up, pay up. <laughs> but they're the feudal lords and they can just do whatever <laughs> they want <laughs> yeah exactly they passed the dream to him yo they that was crazy to be hokage. yeah wow i mean me not until actually became hokage mm-hmm. but he died really young so that was sad but hopefully Naruto can become the Hokage and live a long life. Yeah, that's crazy. How did she die though? I'm still questioning they, that. I think they told us before. Did they tell us before? Did I forget? Did they? Because I know Minato died from doing the seal, but... Did she help? What did how Kishina did, how, do? Did she help? How did, did he get, help? um... How did he get some of her chakra to seal during the time? Oh, right. Okay, maybe they Maybe one together. person can, but since... No one knows, you know, the fourth Hokage and his wife, mm-hmm. right? They're, maybe they just fixate that the fourth Hokage did it himself. Is yeah. it possible that she helped? Yeah, she probably helped, actually. Unless they actually told us and we just don't remember, but um, that could be a possibility. Yeah, they probably helped. Because cause he did seal her chakra, so then when he would have had to do it when he was passing away, and that was when they were doing the sealing of the Dude, that would be so sad, too. Naruto. Think about it. They're, they're both of them pass away together. To seal the Nine Tail Fox 
in um their son. Mm. Yo, that's depressing, yo. It's sad because like they did it for an honorable cause, yeah. and you see their character, and yep. you're like, wow, they're just like Naruto. Mm-hmm. They're just as caring and positive and happy as Naruto. So it just hurts because oh, Naruto's man. all Naruto's suffering didn't wonder, have to be like like he didn't have Naruto didn't have to suffer like that if they were there this whole time. He would have just been a happy family. I mean, if Naruto was still in that Jinchuriki, um, and his family was alive, I'm pretty sure it would also be very different too. Because yeah, they, they would be supporting him. Because mm-hmm. um, Minato would have been the Hokage. So like, yeah, you even <laughs> if they want to, like, they can't what do are they going to do? Yeah, exactly. Minato saved the village mm-hmm. and this is his son. So you guys better respect. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's kind of crazy how every village they play as the Jinchuriki was is a, someone bad or they're scared of them. But they literally saved the village. Because mm-hmm. they're literally sacrificing themselves. The yeah. host. Um... I like guess they, it's just the village perspective. Yeah, I mean, I can see it from both perspectives. It's like they're scared because it is, they see them as a weapon, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, they're not grateful for the Jinchuriki yeah. to do, like, putting up with this. They're but sacrificing, they're, yeah. yeah. They're not grateful for the Jinchuriki sacrifice of being a Jinchuriki mm-hmm. to, in order to protect a village, right? Because they that's yeah. the whole thing, right? It's that they need the Jinchuriki in order to maintain mm-hmm. power so that they can keep peace within the village so that other nations don't come and um, fight, but... Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Um, they hate they hate the Jinchuriki, but then they're literally the reason why they get to yeah. live peacefully. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.